the number of attacks aimed at influencing this weekend's Iraqi constitutional vote. Iraqis will vote on the Constitution yeah. on Saturday. Do you want to talk about it? Alex? 32 now. His photo caught the attention of the world during the Iraq War. A heated battle in Fallujah captured by photojournalist Max Becherer made the cover of Time magazine in those first few days of conflict in Iraq. Well, now Becherer's images of the Iraqi people are part of an upcoming exhibit this week at the Red Wing Framing Gallery. And joining us right now is Max Becherer here to talk about some of his moving photographs, and they really are spectacular. Now, you were embedded in Iraq. Would you just describe what your typical day was like while you were over there? Um, it ran the gamut. Sometimes you're embedded with U.S. troops. Um, those are sometimes in combat operations, sometimes rebuilding operations. Um, but we try to balance the coverage. I work for Time Magazine and the New York Times, and we really try to get into Iraqis' homes and see what their home life is like, um, try to get a sense um, for the Iraqis all over the region, whether it be in the north or the south or in central Iraq. Let's take a look first. Uh, this is um, this is right after, for instance, Saddam lost control. There's a, this is a black and white photograph of a theater group in Baghdad uh, mm -hmm. that revived this theater right afterward. Explain what's going on here. This is June 2003, right after the fall of Baghdad, and things were relatively calm as far as the counterinsurgency. So Iraqis were trying to get back to normal life. Um, and the Al-Rashid Theater, its foyer was bombed out, but the theater part itself was intact. So they ran a play of Othello, which was um, all in a dance presentation. So without having to have a language barrier, people were able to, to understand the performance. I love the silhouette of the man sitting there in, in, the, in the theater watching it. Yeah, this is in the wings. Um, he's about to enter the stage there, so it oh, kind of okay. gives you behind-the-scenes look here. Now, I also, uh, there are a couple of pictures here. Uh, this is an Arab clan that uh, was displaced after the war. Uh, talk a little bit about this family, if you would. Yeah, we went down with James Glans in the New York Times um, to the marshes to look at the reclaiming of some of the marshes. And part of the story there is that some marsh Arabs will not be able to go back to their native way of living in the marshes. So here they're living in a former Saddam Navy base, um, squatters living together in their village groups, um, trying to eke out a living in urban areas. Okay, here's another one of marsh Arabs. Mm -hmm. And uh, explain what this scene is. Well, this is... Um, again, at the Navy, former Navy base in Basra, and she's getting fresh water for her family to cook uh, the noonday meal with from the spigot that's just there. Um, so they live in pretty horrible conditions when before they lived in um, a lush, beautiful landscape in the marshes. And here's, a, here's another photograph giving you an idea of the conditions that the Iraqis were, were living through. And you said that some of these people were living in spectacular, you know, nice homes. And now this is... Yeah, well, their traditional way of life was live off the land in the marsh, so fishing, water buffalo, and reed homes. Um, and here they've had to go to this urban condition um, that they've tried to adapt to. Um, but they haven't found a new way to sustain their life. Um, I think one of the things that was important in this gallery you're going to see in Red Wing is that it's trying to open discussion about how Iraqis are living now, how they're trying to progress with their own lives on an individual basis, and so people can share with each other um, their thoughts on how Iraqis might be living and try to empathize with their situation. All right, humanizing the Iraqi community. L let's show uh, one more picture here. This is of a Najaf election martyr. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a funeral. Funeral procession. This is Mr. Yakubi, and it's, he's carrying the body of his brother, who was killed on election day and um, in January, the first Iraqi free elections. And most of it is non-combat images. Um, but of course, living in Iraq is very violent, and there's a lot of suffering still. So we try to talk about Iraqis who are giving their lives for their own freedom, for their own democracy. Right now, and, and this, uh, the, the fellow that died, his brother, he, he uh, I understand that he, he went and he cast his vote, yeah. and he was so excited to be able to cast the vote that yeah. he went back. Yeah, he was so honored to be able to, to vote, and the election officials, um, he was so grateful to them. He brought, came back to offer them tea throughout the day. As he was leaving, um, a suicide bomber came to the election polling place, blew himself up, killed Mr. Yakubi and I think three other Iraqis. And in this image, is he's being buried in the holy city of Najaf. All right, well, those are just a couple, just really, of so many wonderful photographs, just uh, moving uh, black and white and color photographs. And uh, if you'd like to see uh, Max's exhibit coming up, and thank you, Max, for sharing those with You're us. You're very welcome. Uh,
you will get, you'll be able to see them at the Red Wing Framing Gallery. It opens on Friday. And if you would like more information, you can log on to redwingframing.com. 837 now. You've enjoyed your vegetable garden all summer and early fall. Now it is time to say bye-bye. Later, Garden Guy Dale Kay has tips on putting your garden to bed and making sure that it's ready to go into spring. M.A. Miss Alex, I have a question for you. What's that? I'm hunting rabbits, but do you have any idea? <laughs> well, I'm hunting rabbits. Very quiet. Any idea of the percentage of Minnesota fishers and hunters that are women? I'm going to say 25, 3%. That's very, very close. Actually, 30%, and that number is growing. We'll tell you why at the new Cabela store in Rogers. That's coming up on Fox 9 Morning News.